All right, everybody. In the last video, I showed you guys how to set up KeyPass DX on your Android phone. And now we are going to be setting up a cool tool that comes with the app called KeyPass Magic Keyboard. So go ahead and open up KeyPass and we are going to click on the hamburger menu icon at the top. Come in here and let me get my big mug out of the way. Two seconds. Uh, boom. All right. Go to settings and then we're going to go back into here where it's the form filling and we're going to click on here. This guy right here where it says device keyboard settings. Click on it. Boom. And then you have this keyboard option, magic keyboard. We're going to turn this guy on. Okay. And we're going to use this input method. All right. This requires us to do a reboot. Okay. Gonna go back, 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 and home. Use my fingers down. That is not it. Power and restart. All right. Uh, depending on how long this restart goes, you might see a big old clip of my face or not. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Magic Keyboard it'll allow you to do uh, TOTP sign-ins. It'll also allow you to do like form filling. Um, it, it's just a really useful little tool, and it's something that I haven't seen in any other password managers. All right, so we are now restarted, and there we go. All right. I'm going to open KeyPass back up and we are going to click on settings. Whenever you don't have anything unlocked, you can just click on the settings menu and it'll allow you to do settings. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that that actually stayed and there it is. Cool. So KeyPass is in there and now we are going to head over to txtechnician.com and I'm going to log out because I want to log back in. There we go. Okay. Log in and you can see that the password manager is already like popping up. And why is my keyboard? There we go. I am so utterly confused why my keyboard was not popping up, whatever. All right, so now we have this KeyPass keyboard installed, so I can just click right here on the little keyboard icon at the bottom, and you can see this option has now appeared. So Magic Keyboard, and I'm gonna select that guy. Okay, so now I have Magic Keyboard, and boom, there it is. Okay, whenever you have Magic Keyboard open like this, you have these little icons that are down here. Click on this password icon, gonna open it. Okay, and then it's gonna ask me to open up my vault because I forgot to open it. By the way, you can set up a uh, like a thumbprint unlocking with these things and it will save your uh, password. There we go, that is now unlocked, okay. So I have this thing already selected in the key pass uh, keyboard. So it's remembered my setting and I click on this guy and bam, there it goes. So now whenever I go to click on this, see what key pass uh, magic keyboard did is it created an association with that URL and the keyboard. And now at will, I can use these additional buttons. Okay. So this right here is my username. This one right here is my password. This one right here is TOTP, and then these are all additional settings. All right, that on that one, that one. So I am in the email field, so I'm gonna click on username. Cool, there it is. Now I'm down here, and I'm gonna click on password. So there's my password, and now I'm gonna log in. And do, 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 it's gonna bring me to my TOTP, unless it kept a login session, maybe. There we go, okay. We're gonna click here and see right here is now my TOTP and I can just click on it. There it is and logged in. All right, so that was the uh, KeyPass keyboard. Pretty useful little deal. Um, if you you know put something inside of there, you can just backspace it out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, hope that was useful. Oh, by the way, to get the keyboard back, you can either press this little keyboard icon or you can just press the one that's in your nav bar okay there there and boop and now i should have my bloody keyboard back ah, it's an emulator 
All right, whatever. This will work on your phone. I'm using an emulator on my uh, Linux laptop. So yeah, I hope that that was useful for you all. You have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, hey man, uh, reach out to me in the comments below or uh, hit me up on any social media.